cemetery. This is where they buried the dead. Let's see, there's one. Looks like a baby one there. Let's see if we walk up the foot of this. Two small grave sites. Two large grave sites, so this might have been a whole family. There's a small grave here and the grave here. Three more up here. And it looks like three more over here. All unmarked graves. So how many people was that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people. I wonder if some of these were the people that died in the flood. All right, what is up YouTube? I'm back with another explore video. So I'm currently standing in what would have been a giant processing mill for a mine. Uh, today we are out in tunnel camp. I'm out here with my friends. Um, and we're gonna explore this town. I don't know if you can see the buildings down there. But there's tons of old buildings. This place is really cool. Probably one of the coolest places we've been in a while. Um, but just a quick history of the story is that this, there used to be a town called Mizuma about a mile from here. And that entire town was washed out by a flood. And about 100 people lived in the town at that time. And eight people died. Now, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a story done by a local news channel and some ghost explorers where this place was said to be haunted. And what they did is they came out here with a news crew to explore these and while they're out here they got some ghost activity. So either pause the video and watch it now and come back and watch the rest of this or watch it when this is done. Um, but we're going to check out these old buildings. Um, there may be some mine tunnels around here and uh, yeah well let's see what this place is all about. All right, so what's up you guys? So normally this would be the part of the video uh, where I go through all the buildings and look through them all, show them what you, show you guys what they look like. But something weird happened here. And this has only happened one other time before. But what happened was, is it, it recorded the first 30 seconds or so, the first you know intro of the video where I'm kind of getting my camera ready. And then when I go to record the first building, it cut off. Now I went walked through about five different buildings and I remember it saying record. That's what I remember but maybe I'm losing my mind. But by the time I got to the building where the news station recorded those ghosts or that ghost activity in the link below, I noticed that it was no longer recording. So I turned on the camera at that point I checked, well it was already on, but I, I went to go check the camera to make sure it filmed. I watched like the first 10 or 15 seconds and I was like, okay, it's good to go. It recorded that, you know, on to the next thing. Now, it, this happened this time and then towards the end of the video, it happened again in another strange building. Now, I'm not saying that I believe in ghosts or that it was ghosts. Maybe it was just user error. Um, I don't know, maybe my camera messed up but this has only happened to me other than these two times in this video this has only happened to me one other time and that was at a haunted hospital and in that haunted hospital i was trying to go into the basement area where they say that a ghost of a little girl lived and for whatever reason that was the only part of the entire video that didn't come out it just wasn't there so i want to apologize for not filming these videos but we were able to get photographs of them so I'm gonna show a little slideshow of these buildings and then I'm gonna do the drone video of the area and then we'll go back into the buildings that I was able to record so I hope you enjoy it and uh, sorry about that and Max and Damien are here they uh, they brought the uh, the old tent there and maybe spending the night. Let's see if I can get my focus in. 
All right, looks good. Back here. Okay, so I don't know what just happened there, but so then um, they moved the town here, and about a hundred um, 
so 100 people, and not everybody moved, because I think everybody, like a lot of people moved back towards uh, Lovelock and Unionville and all that stuff that used to be over there. And Unionville, we're going to go explore because Mark Twain's cabin is there. So not in this video, but in an upcoming video, we'll be uh, exploring that place. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll check out this door. That's a newish camp. People like to camp out here. That's cool. Probably wouldn't have had a campfire outside their house when they have stoves right inside. They probably weren't too keen on that. I think fires were pretty common back then. Pretty scary thing. All right. So this is the the big wooden house. I feel like definitely some people lived in here. And because gotta watch out for these floorboards. Very sturdy though. Lots more sturdy than what we probably build today. Sometimes. So this seems like some type of bunk room to me, just because they're so low. Um, this was definitely the bathroom. That's interesting. People actually use it too. That's gross. The old screens keep the bugs out. It's amazing how much technology we still use or started to use back then. We still do. We're a hundred years later, over a hundred years later. So that's this place. All right, so those are all the buildings around here. We're gonna do a little bit more exploring and see what else we can find because there is tons of stuff in this area. And uh, yeah, well, let's, let's see what else we can find around here. All right, so. We hiked up this hill over here and we got, we found this mine shaft. So we'll just take a peek down here. Yeah, we walked down the ground over here. So we to get a good view there. Woo. Stick the camera down in there so you guys get a better look than we can. Oh yeah, it's not that deep. Yeah. Wouldn't feel good to fall down, yeah, <laughs> but probably wouldn't kill us. Well, it's, it's not. You might break my legs. <laughs> Whoa! Hi. <laughs> All right, we'll go uh, check some more stuff out. Okay, so. Right now, we walked over that big, uh, you know, golden looking hill. I don't know what kind of dirt that is. I need to do more research on my geology, but I'm researching about ghosts. It's a lot more interesting, but I am really interested in geology. Anyway, we found this uh, storehouse, really cool rock walls built in the side of here. Okay. Step up the step. Whoa. So this was a bunk room. That is crazy. So four people would sleep in here. They still have the mattresses. Now I wonder if those are really, that looks like it's from the 1900s. But I don't know about that one, but I guess so. Look at it. This is where the stove would have been. Got your storage. This little dresser. Wow, that's really something. See the store?
This was the top just built into the side of this mountain here. All right, so we walked around the bend a little bit and there's the uh, Gold Mountain. And then, so this obviously was something, probably a way to get the ore from up here where these mines were, we're gonna walk up there and down the hill. Whoa. I wonder what this was. It sits on a wood base, has pipe, closed off pipe underneath it. These wires around it to me show that it was probably holding possibly water. This might have been and that nails here, so there's probably wood on the side. And those wires would hold the wood together. And these would be giant water towers. Whoa. This is awesome. Do you think this was where the entrance of the tunnel was? And they just filled it in? This is like the stuff that, that is on the, at Crystal Peak. All right, so this was obviously an entrance to something big. It looked like it caved in. Something big I almost fell on. You almost fell on? I thought it was a snake or something. All right, well, let's see what else is out here. Okay, so this is the second part of the video where we were going about to go inside the building and the camera randomly stopped recording. Now I hit record, I was talking on it, I went back to check the footage, I watched like the first five to, five to 15 seconds and everything looked fine, so I moved on. Uh, this building is interesting because just like the other building that you saw right before it, this was where people lived. And inside this building though, someone has hung up clothes maybe that they found from around the area um, but these clo clothes and some of them look old and possibly from the er the time when people actually lived here and they're just hanging up on the wall and again I couldn't film it but I did get photos of what the inside of the building looked like so I hope you enjoy this part of the video and enjoy the rest of the video and we're gonna have to come out here again and check this area out. Maybe we can hook up with some people that like to do uh, ghost investigations and possibly do it at nighttime. We might get some activity. But this doesn't usually happen. Um, I, I don't ever have this problem with other places that I film. It's only been these two places, the haunted uh, hospital that I recorded and then this place that is also supposedly haunted. So I guess it is what it is and I hope you're enjoying the video. All right, so this thing is the last building in the area, um, and then we gotta go to the other side of the hill, and then we might take a short drive to another part of this area. But we're gonna check out this place right now. Um, we're on now the north side of this gold thing. Okay, all right, so this is where we first drove in. Check out this place. This looks like a storage room for sure. Or the kitchen of some kind. Yeah. 
See there was a stove here. Oh, I'm looking through there with this cloth. Yeah, a lot of bags. A lot of bags. A lot of rat droppings. This looks like it's maybe a flower of some kind. That's crazy. It's like a bag of flour. It's still there. Okay. Alright, so that is it for um, this area. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a second video. You have to watch the second video because this one's been pretty long already. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do a second video if we go to another area. So I'm going to say peace out on this one, guys. Thanks for coming on the adventure with us. And hit that like and subscribe button. And we will see you out there.